time. Some wish to have it sped up, others wish to slow it down. One thing for certain in our lives, time will always be a factor. When it comes to thinking of how time alters and changes us, nothing shows this more than aging. Some of us try to hide the wrinkles, hair color, or lack thereof of any follicles. Me personally, I've always thought if I kept moving, age might just pass me by. Unfortunately, that has not been the case. Over the last 20 years, I've produced 17 documentary films. I've been extremely fortunate to be inspired and be surrounded by such amazing people to help me with my creative journey. One common denominator in all of my film works is a character named J.R. Rock. J.R. Rock is a rough, tough, no-nonsense pro wrestler from the mountains of Appalachia. Known for making children cry, whipping his opponents with a leather strap, and being an all-around tough guy. A fiend to many, J.R. Rock has always been my friend. I first met J.R. when we were college students back in the early 2000s. J.R. was working on a Bachelor's of Arts degree by day and wrestling by night. We shared a class together and after talking during a group project, we learned of each other's mutual love of old school pro wrestling. We were both from rural Appalachia and first generation college students. And one conversation turned into many as JR and I started a long arduous journey of friendship and creative partnership. JR was featured in the second film I ever produced, Fire in the Mountains. The film dealt with, of course, Appalachian small town pro wrestling and featured JR as a lead villain and heel. The film won the 2010 Best Short at the Appalachian Film Festival and was featured at that year's Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I then featured JR in my next two films, Zen Furnace and Junker's Lament. A constant standard for so many years, JR and I drifted apart as he moved to Florida for work, and I moved on to teach digital media and documentary at Moorhead State University. In the summer of 2022, I was working on a new film about the life and the creative arts during the COVID-19 pandemic. I decided to reach out to JR and see if he was still wrestling. To my surprise, he was and had moved back to Kentucky. I found out that he was on the Kentucky Fair circuit where he and other wrestlers were traveling to every Kentucky County Fair and putting in the bumps. I caught up with JR and he never missed a beat, still making people yell and scream. After the match, JR told me he wanted to share some personal information with me. His body had taken too many hits and he had decided to retire from active pro wrestling. He asked me to come along and document his farewell match. How could I say no? My longtime muse and friend was closing out his time in the squared circle and I knew I needed to tell this story. This is my 